Now here's the rabbit and rings trick. Magicians are always thought to be using rabbits in their show, and today we're going to be using this little rabbit right here. We're going to place him on this piece of paper, and we're going to use the rings and this card to make him completely vanish. Watch. We'll cover him up with the card and the rings, wave my hand, snap my fingers, and now the rabbit has completely vanished. Now making him come back is just as easy. Watch. We'll cover up the ring just like that, snap my fingers again, and now the rabbit has again reappeared. And that's the rabbit and rings trick. Now I'm going to show you the multiplying rabbits trick. It's a lot of fun to do, but you'll need a friend to perform it for. So, oh, there you are, Kiva. Hey, Ryan. <laughs> now, it's important to note, Kiva does not come with a magic set, so you'll need to get one of your own friends to help you out with this trick. Now, Kiva, I've got a mommy and a daddy rabbit here, all right? Mm -hmm. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold on to one of them, and I need you to hold on to the other one. Okay. So place it in your hand, close your hand around it, make a fist. Now watch, if I snap my fingers, the mommy rabbit jumps over to the daddy rabbit, and now you've got both of them. Wow. Pretty neat trick, huh? Yeah. All right, let's do it again. This time, I'm going to have you hold on to both rabbits, the mommy and the daddy. Okay. Hold out your hand. I'm going to ask you to hold on to both. Put them in your hand. Squeeze your hand tightly. Now watch close. I'll wave my hand, snap my fingers, and now you had mommy and daddy, but now you've got a whole family. Look. Oh, my gosh. There's mommy, daddy, and a whole bunch of little baby rabbits. <laughs> Pretty neat trick, huh? Amazing. Thanks for your help. No problem. I'm now going to show you the crazy angel coins trick. Now, have you ever looked at the back of an old style quarter? There's an eagle on the back. Do you know why that's there? That's so that the quarters can fly. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to place four quarters into this container. That's one, two, three, and four. Four quarters inside. These four quarters are going to travel from one hand to the other. Watch how fast it happens. Bring the quarters over here. Watch close. One, two, three. Just like that. All four quarters jump. That's one, two, three, and four. And they're gone from over there. Now I'm going to show you the traveling handkerchief trick. Watch. I'm going to take this orange handkerchief. I'm going to place it into my fist all the way in. Just like that. Now watch. One, two, <laughs> three completely vanishes. Actually, it travels right over here to my other hand. Pretty amazing, huh? Now, I know you're not supposed to play with your food, but I can't help myself. Watch. I'm going to take this handkerchief and make a little pocket in my fist. I'm now going to fill that pocket up with salt. Just a little bit is all we need. There we go. Now watch close. This is the cool part. All I need to do is wave my hand over the salt in one, two, three. It completely vanishes. Now, where's the salt? Well, let's make it reappear. Watch. Just like that. And now the salt has reappeared completely. Here's another version of the traveling handkerchief trick. Watch close. I'm going to take the handkerchief and place it into my right hand, poke it all the way down inside. Watch close. One, two, <laughs> three. The handkerchief's gone. Where is it? Well, it's right down over here in my pocket. Pretty cool, huh? Now I'm going to show you a classic of magic. It's called the Cups and Balls, and it's been done since the ancient Egyptian times. All it uses is three small balls, and three small cups. One, two, three. To start, I'm going to place one of the cups over one of the balls. I'll place a ball on top of the cup, cover it with the other two cups, snap my fingers, and now it melts right through and joins the other one. Let's do it again. We'll cover up the balls. Now we'll make the ball go through two cups this time. Place it on top, cover with the last cup, snap my fingers, and now it joins the other two. And that's the cups and the balls. Here's a great trick you can perform with your magic wand. All you need to do is take the wand and place it in your hand. Now watch. I'm going to use my other hand to steady my hand. And if I'm lucky, the magic wand will actually magnetize to my bare hand. 
just like that. Now, you might have guessed what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm actually just holding it on my finger. Pretty simple, right? All right, let's do it again. This time I'll really do it. Watch close. Here we go. Yup, it's magnetized. For real, look, take my other hand away. Now it really is magnetized to my hand. But if I snap my fingers, it'll become unmagnetized. Watch, one, two, three, just like that. This is a fun trick called jumping juice. I have a can of juice and I have a glass of juice. I'm going to cover the glass and the can with these two tubes. Now watch what happens when I snap my fingers. Just like that, the can and the juice switch places. Now the glass is over here and the can is over here. Now I know what you're thinking. Can they jump back? Well watch, just like that, again, the glass is back over here and the can is over here. Okay, you're not impressed. Well, let's do it again. This time I'll do it for real. We'll cover the can and we'll cover the glass. I snap my fingers and just like that, now, really, the glass is over here and the can is over here. Now, we'll cover them one last time. We'll make it go back. Watch. One, two, three. Just like that. And now we're back to normal. The can over here and the glass over here. And that's jumping juice. Now this you're going to love. I have here a magic vending machine. Let me show you how it works. First of all, I'll show you it's empty. There's nothing inside. I'll close it up, and now all I need to do is put in a single quarter. And just like that, it'll give me a glass of juice. Hi there. Can I show you some magic? Well, I'd love to. I only need one little prop. It's in my briefcase here. You know what it is? Well, it's my magic top hat. You see, it's an empty top hat, nothing inside. But if I wave my hand and snap my fingers now, look at this. Inside is, well, one, two, and three silk handkerchiefs. Here's another quick trick you can perform with your top hat. I'm going to take this little handkerchief and place it inside the hat. Now all I need to do is wave my hand over the hat, just like that, and now the handkerchief has vanished. That's right. It's completely gone. Where is it? Well, it's right back in the pocket, of course. The other day I was going to a party, and on the way I stopped by a candy shop to buy some candy for my friends. I bought them some lollipops. Let me show what I got. I bought a grape lollipop, I bought a lemon lollipop, I bought a uh, cherry lollipop, and I also bought a, a lime lollipop. This is my favorite flavor. I'm going to save this one for myself, actually. Now, the funny thing is, when I got to the party, all the lollipops, well, they completely vanished. See this box? This is my magic snack box. If I show you now, it's empty. But when it's time for a snack, all I need to do is open it, and there's my snack. Look, popcorn. Want some? Let me show you a fun trick with the rabbit paddle. I have here a paddle with two rabbits, one on each side, one here one there. Now I'm going to take the rabbits off the paddle. Now they're over here in my hand. They're gone from the paddle. But what do rabbits do? Well, they jump just like that back onto the paddle. Have you heard of Houdini? Well, Houdini was a famous escape artist and he was known for escaping from handcuffs and jail cells. Well, today we're going to duplicate one of Houdini's most famous escapes with this small jail cell and this dice. Now, the dice will be Houdini. He's going to escape from the jail cell all the way over to this empty hat. Here's how it works. We'll take Houdini and we'll place him inside the jail cell. In he goes. Now watch how fast he does it. 
See, he's already gone. He's now completely escaped from the jail cell. He's completely gone. Well, where is he? Well, of course, he's right inside the hat. This next trick is called Color Cube, and it's one of my favorites, but I'm going to need a friend to perform it for. Hey, Kiva. How hey, you Ryan. Doing? How are you? Help me out with a quick trick. No problem. I have a cube here with six different colors on each side. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you to pick your favorite color, place it face up in the box, and then place the lid on it so I can't see what you've chosen. Okay. All right? Here are the pieces. I'll turn my back so I can't see what you've chosen. All right. Let me know when you're done. Okay, we're ready. All right, so now, it's all sealed up. There's no way I can see what color you've selected. Mm -hmm. Here's what's going to happen now. I'm going to try and read your mind. And I know that sounds impossible, but all I need you to do is concentrate on the color you thought of. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to do the same. Concentrate on the color. I've got it. The color you were thinking of was red. Is that correct? You're right. All right, wow. let's see if I did it. Sure enough, it's red. That's the color cube. Thanks for your help, Kiva. No problem. I'm going to show you a really confusing trick right now. It's called the spot card. Most cards only have two sides, but this one, well, it has four sides. Let me show you what I mean. This side only has got one spot, but this side has four spots. Now, the third side, that side has three spots, and this side, well, it's got six spots. But don't forget the first side because that one still only has one spot. There's nothing better than magic when it's done with your bare hands and your sleeves rolled. Watch this little handkerchief. We're going to place it into my hand. I poke it in my fist, and now on the count of three, one, two, three, it completely disappears. And that, my friends, is the hanky vanisher. I'm going to make these four quarters visibly travel from one hand to the other. Here's how we do it. I have here a small container. We're going to place the four quarters inside. One, two, three, and four. The lid goes over the case. Now, watch the quarters visibly travel from one hand to the other. You ready? Here they go. Yep, they visibly traveled from one hand to the other. Okay, I can tell you're not impressed. Let's do it again, only this time I'll make them invisibly travel from one hand to the other. Let's do it again. We'll place the four quarters inside the box. Place the lid on top of the box. Now, the quarters are really going to travel from one hand to the other. Watch. One, two, three. Now, all four quarters have invisibly traveled from the container over to the other hand. Now I'd like to show you the multiplying balls illusion. I have here one little red ball, but if I give it a shake, now I've got two balls. Watch, let me show you that again. I'll move this ball up here, give a little shake again, and now we have three balls. We'll do it one more time. Watch, move this ball up here to my pinky. One more time, give it another shake, and now there's four balls. I'm going to show you a fantastic trick with the mystery deck. I'm going to place the four aces into the pack in four different places. Watch. Put the ace of diamonds right up here, ace of clubs down here, ace of hearts, and the ace of spades. Now you can very clearly see that all four aces really are in four different places inside the pack. I'm going to push them in, and now I'm going to shuffle the cards up. I'm going to shuffle it up pretty well. And now, all I need to do is wave my hands over the deck, and now all four aces have come to the bottom. There's the ace of diamonds, ace of clubs, ace of hearts, and ace of spades. Here's another excellent trick you can do with your mystery deck. What I've done is I've separated the deck into red cards and black cards. All reds over here, and all blacks over here. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle the red cards into the black cards. Watch close. Put the reds and the blacks and we'll shuffle them together. There we go. Reds and blacks. Now you'll see they're completely mixed. Reds and blacks completely mixed. Let's even shuffle it some more. We'll shuffle it, shuffle it, shuffle it. Just like that. And now all I need to do is wave my hand over the deck and snap my fingers and now the deck is completely back in order. Reds and blacks. Here's a really cool trick you can perform at school or maybe at a restaurant where they give you crayons when you're waiting. All you need are four different colored crayons. Now Kiva, what I'd like you to do is select one of these crayons and place it in my hand and then hide the other three so I don't know what you've given me. All okay. right? They are the crayons. I'll turn my back so I can't see what you're going to put in my hand. Just put one in my hand and then hide the other three. Got it? Great. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm ready. They're hidden? Yes. All right, I'm coming back. Okay, now I'm going to try and figure out what color you put in my hand. And all I need you to do is concentrate on the color. Okay. Have you got it? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Concentrate deeply. Oh, Don't yeah. say, but just concentrate. Here we go. I got it. The color was blue. You're right. All right, right. there we go. Blue in my hand. You have the other three. Yeah. Pretty cool He's trick, right. right? Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Here's another fantastic trick you can do with an item you find around the house. I have here two pieces of kitchen twine. I'm going to place the two pieces into my hand. Watch close. One, two, three. Just like that, the two pieces become one. Is it possible to link two separate paper clips without even touching them? I don't think so. But with a little bit of magic, maybe it's possible. Watch this. I have over here two more separate paper clips. I'm going to place the two clips on this $1 bill. I'm going to fold the dollar bill and place the two paper clips in two separate places. One over here and the second one over here on this side. Now I can very clearly see the two paper clips are completely separate on the $1 bill and I'm not going to touch them. Watch one, two, three. Now they're linked. I have here a $1 bill. Do you know who's in the front of a $1 bill? That's right, George Washington. Now I bet you didn't know this. In addition to being our nation's first president, he was also a world-class acrobat. I didn't think he'd believe me. What I'm going to do right now, though, is make him stand on his head without turning the bill upside down. Watch what happens. I'm going to fold it once, twice, wave my hand over it, then open it up, and now he's upside down. How did he do that? 